Summer 2021 has officially come to an end and it's been a crazy summer with lots of partying, lots of working out and lots of working. <laughs> So to officially start our autumn calisthenics workout, we're going back to the New York City scaffolding workout. So my top training goals for this autumn months are the handstand 90 degree push up, handstand hold, and everything that comes with that. I also started using the weighted vest and the parallettes for my calisthenics workouts, which is the only calisthenics equipment you need to progress faster and progressively overload each and every week. This is the typical calisthenics workout car. Festival, weighted vest, and parallettes. Back to this shit, eh? Out of pre workout once again. Alright, what's about to go down, Maximilian? Um, wait. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Alright, what's about to go down, my brother? Alright, so I've been training handstands four days in a row now, and the biggest thing I have learned is actually pointing my toes on the kick up and squeezing the core because I got the range of motion here, but if this is loose, I always kick over or I fall back. So let's do it. I'm doing this. Strong. Ain't no warm up with that. I don't have the wrist wraps on, so when I put them on, it'll be a little bit better. Whoa, what is this? Uh, it's an ancient device that the uh, Neanderthals used to use. Why do you have this? <laughs> I got pickpocket at Izu, and now I'm waiting for the iPhone 13, so I still have to do. Yo, this video is actually really good. Probably it's better than the iPhone 12. You know, so the first couple of sets were warm-up set, and if you just add this and some wrist wraps into your handstand training, you'll, you'll literally just get the handstand right away. <laughs> Strong. Nice. Oh! Fourth day in a row though. Pat as a reference point. Aye. Lost it. Sarah, you went to Slovakia, right? What? What did you do there? Slovakia Hatana. The goal here is to actually get the movements, but you also want to get a lot of frequency to get used to that shoulder press. So I'm going to attempt a L sit into a press up after a three second handstand. Strong. Up. I think I held Elsa too long. Sanitation. So much noise, yo. I get a gym membership. <laughs> Because it's my fourth day in a row training the shoulders and the strength part of it, I'm gonna just do the balance part of the handstand now and I'm gonna superset it with a pulling exercise, but I'm also getting that push strength with the ring muscle up, so let's do it. I'm coming in. So one of the most important body parts in calisthenics is the shoulders, the core, and your scapula because if any of those are imbalanced, your skills are not going to be up to par. So we're going to be doing some scapula pull-ups on the rings. We're going to start from a little dead hang since I'm too tall. Bring the scapula up and pull up. And scapula engage, pull up. So if it's too hard for you on the rings, you can do it on the bar and it's kind of easier on the bar because you're more aware of your scapula. So this is a regular pull up. So this is the scapula engaged. And then you pull up. Two bar movement. That's your scapula workout. Boom! Ah. So if you start training skills relatively frequently, you're gonna lose a little bit of your aesthetics. So to keep up with those aesthetics, we wanna do some reps and sets. So let's try for a one arm pull up. If I can't do that, I'm just gonna rep out with some pull-ups. So 
Up. Strong. Come on. Not too bad. Five normal. You can super sit out with some push ups, and our workout is coming to a close. So, if you want to implement aesthetics and strength in one superset or one set, you're going to be doing some L sit pull ups for the pulling part. So, on the rings, you need an overhand grip, get into position, lock out. And pull up, lock out, pull up. Four, one more, five. Into ring on slope, and then you could go negative and hold. So this is gonna be the finisher of the whole workout. Um, this is the Brooklyn Tank Rope. How many pounds is this? Like three pounds? Three pounds, baby. Three pounds, so you get those shoulder cuts, get that cardio and that hidden to burn those calories. Then go to super center with some ring ab workout and some parallel ab workout. So let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. First workout back from a crazy summer. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, lifestyle parties, everything that gets in the way of working out, but you have to get a right balance of working out and getting some real life social time. So make sure you're putting in the work, fall is starting, keep your grind up, and I'm gonna be sharing workouts all year long. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I live inside my own world of